now that I have the frame welded up, I'm going to go ahead and figure out how to get this rear suspension mounted on here. And I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and take this suspension point off. I don't know what I'm going to do if I'm going to cut this off or take the whole thing, but I'm going to cut it off the whole thing off for right now. And then I'm going to put this on there. And I don't like this. I don't, I don't like having this whole a non-functioning piece. So I may end up lopping these off. I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to lop these bad boys off. <coughs> it might be better just to cut these off and tab them to the frame. What do you think about that? I think that's a good idea. So let me go ahead and do that. And um, I'm going to cut these off and then off camera, then come back and put them on here. So I went ahead and locked those little tabs off and I'm gonna use those. So one thing I wanna tell you guys about, a little tip. So you want your stuff to be really accurate. Try to assemble it as close to fully assembled as you can before you start welding it up. That way when you put it up, everything will be lined up. When it starts to um, warp a bit, a bit, this piece will hold itself together so it doesn't get out of whack. And when you try to put it on, um, it'll be too tight or something. Because it's together, that won't happen. So now the next thing is to get it on here, I realize that this is wider than the frame. So I'm gonna to have to make a little bracket for it. So I'll do that off camera also, but it's gonna be made out of some plate that's gonna go between these two and then weld it to the frame. So let me do that and come back to you and then we'll start getting this thing now as you see, I got this welded up into its little box support that's going to mount onto the onto the actual bike frame like that. And let me go ahead and get that welded up. And once I get that welded, we'll have a rolling chassis. So that'd be kind of cool. So let's do it. Now that I have this welded up, still pretty hot. And I'm going to get this swing arm attached. So I do it, I'll burn my hand. So bushings to go on here. Here's a nut that goes with it. Here's one of the one half of the bushing. Get the other half. And this is the other half of the bushing. So these bushings go through here. And on to here. So let's see if we can get this on here without getting burned. And now that that bushing is on, this little nut goes in here. I shouldn't say nut, it's a screw screws in here. I need to get an Allen wrench to tighten this up. I'm not going to show you guys tightening this thing up, but then now we have a attached swing arm. So let me tight, let me tighten this up and I'll take a shot from a little further away so you can get a picture of the whole thing. So here's a look at the entire bike, how it looks with the motor sitting in place. The next thing I have to do is do a mounting point for the shock to the frame and then we'll pretty much have a rolling uh, chassis. After that, I gotta get my jack shaft installed here so I can run a chain from here to here, then down to the side. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do about the sprocket on the back. Uh, I may just go with a mini bike sprocket or something like that. But here's a look at it. Next time we're gonna work on getting the rear shock mount installed, the jack shaft welded and installed, and possibly a seat. But then we got to work out what we're going to do about that rear a sprocket. So you may have to use a mini bike thing or something. But anyway, hope you liked it. Um, subscribe, like the video, check out more videos, and share with your friends. Thanks again. See you next time.